Woof. I did not sleep good. Oh, Jackie. Oh, V. You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomine. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw in some threads, meet me downstairs. Good on you, Jackie. Okay, we got some things to do first. New release brain dances. I've been wondering about these brain dances. What's up, BD Maniacs? Brain dance maniacs? Hunger for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest brain dances on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. Nothing. There is nothing else. It is you. But is it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. I mean, that's kind of true. Uh, but what would you? What would happen if this tool uh, tried to live on its its own life? What if it tried to kill you? That'd be bad. Uh, though not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Polar is still a solid experimental ride. The fear of disobedient implants uh, has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope uh, has a pervasive in the film. Has been pervasive in the film. In film. I see, okay, genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to just keep it interesting. After all, it's not just, it's not every day you see the world from a per perspective of a sentient arm. <laughs> uh, Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been chock full of horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The the always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyber psychosis so we can relive his return to normalcy. Uh, the title offers the tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into the world that is now far different from how he left it the bd is a must relive uh of the season but it's not for the faint of heart uh badlands raid at last a bd that uh for those looking for something a little lighter badlands raid is a remake of the 2023 classic which uh was an innovative tour de front de force of the time for those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Xenotech uh, convoy. I won't spoil it because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What will I say? What, what I will say is this. The remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make a pleasant surprise to classic lovers. Uh, and newbies alike. All right, cool. Awesome. Arasaka troll. Get a little better look at him. We could sit down and watch some TV, but I think we'll do that later. Uh, let's check our computer here. Maybe. Messages. Uh, let's start at the bottom. You've been attacked. Warning. Malware detected. Your computer has been attacked by three daemons. Our system detected two attempts to obtain your personal data. Attempts one attempt to corrupt your neural processor. Immediate action required. A quick threat neur neutralization uh, software can prevent identity theft and implant hijacking. However, hostile netrunners can infiltrate your nervous system and force you to commit terrible crimes such as fraudulent bank transfers, assault, theft, and or armed robbery and suicide. To protect yourself, click on the scan now button. Our sophisticated anti daemon software will eliminate all threats immediately. If you do not scan in the next five minutes and 15, 17 seconds, your operating system may suffer irreversible damage. Protect yourself now. Get a virus. That's what it is. Uh, uh, pen one S nano gel scam alert. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna go about that. Uh, warning, scam alert. 
do not click on any emails with ads for the Pen 1S Enlargement Nano Gel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and pro proven method for Pen 1S enhancement is still the hormone treatment. Our scientists at Ears have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your pen. Number ones in only seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. Uh, here's a quote. I didn't believe it would work, uh, but I was desperate. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> I only had a week to get my pen big, and I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. <laughs> this is great. Uh, fortunately, Ari, that's what I'm going to call it, did the trick, and I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. Oh, boy. Thanks, Ari. Richard Towers. Oh, my gosh. Ah. His name is Richard Towers. Real customer. Sure. Verified pen growth. Uh, order your... Order now while supplies last. Get your pen growth now. Uh, and moderate Mega Medicine Lottery. Here we go. Attention, Mega Mod uh, Medicine Lottery. Uh, face? Uh, buy two tickets, get the third for free. Uh, derp, derp, derp. Thousands of prizes are still available. Drugs, reanimators, primary care, appointments, surgery, vouchers, blood screens, cy cy cyber psychosis vaccines. What? Ripper Doc referrals and our grand prize, a one-year trauma team premium package. Hurry while supplies last. Your neighbors already have their tickets. Buy yours now, derp, derp, derp. No, I don't think so. And then we have the net, but I don't think I can access oops, any of that right now. It's kind of like uh, GTA. Oh, my. Okay, let's go. We're ready for the world. Wait, we need to level up, actually. I'm going to make this... As quick as po- Nope, I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. What I want is I want to max out my hacker skills because that's what I'm going for. I'm a, uh, I'm a hacker. That's what I want to be. Um, mass vulnerability unlocks the mass vulnerability daemon which reduces the physical resistance for all enemies in the network by 30%. So, what do I have to do to do that? It does, it's just applied. It's passive. And then under quick hacking... We have... This is passive. Did that say passive? That did say passive. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay, so this one is deal 10% more damage. That's significant. Uh, unlock crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks. That's nice. Allows RAM to recover during combat. Recover four RAM sticks every... You know what? I think we're going to go with that uh, to start with. We have one more point left. Uh, reveals an enemy Netrunner when they're attempting to hack you... And eliminating the target affected by the quick hack instantly recovers one ram stick. Ooh, man, that's good. I think we will go with this one, uh, mass vulnerability. That's, that's everyone on the market or on the uh, network. So if I hit, if I hit the, um, I forgot what it's called, but it makes everybody vulnerable and it costs less. I think it costs less, uh, or it reveals everyone on the network. Hmm. Increases breach time for breach protocol. Wait, increases time? Increases the breach time for breach protocol by 20%. Uh, I would think it would decrease, but I don't know, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll try it out. And uh, I don't know, do I have a actual... I have one attribute point to level up. Well, let's go with... Um, uh, five health, three stamina, and, um, ninjutsu. Let's go for cool. Oh, I see. I need to go back. Uh, F to purchase. There we go. Got it. Okay, cool. Let's go. What? Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Just could even call me a collector. Later, V. Whose kicks are on that line? So you are embarrassed. Fucking gone piece of Watch shit. Watch your own self! 
Uh, okay, this is Regina Jones who was just on the phone. I heard you're looking for work in Watson. Just so happens I'm one I'm one of its main employers. Wow. If you don't want to waste your talents uh, of yourself, waste those talents of yourself, check the gigs I sent you. Do good work, and there's more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Okay. You're worth it. What? Um... Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, why are you guys so mad? Now get the hell out of here! Okay, jeez, wow. Rude. Are you doing alright there? Okay, well, let's do a quick exploring here. Looking for money, just random money. Hello. Also, just like a view. Dry, <sighs> Whoops! That way. almost ended in my death. Soaking Let's get off that edge there. Hello. Hand fan and medical gauze. Okay. You guys, good. All right. Oh, should I go down one more? Is there anything down here? Okay, this door is blocked off. Hello? Hmm. Okay. And just some machines. Hello? Can't open them doors. Okay. Is it just me or does the frame rate seem to be choppy? It's showing 60. It doesn't seem right. No, it's definitely not 60. Uh, shit, come on! Okay. Quick the settings a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Check this market out, man. About this place. The crowd? No. The fucking smell. Oh. True. Sweet it is not. Chum, you could boil shit in piss and it still smell better than this fucking town. Maybe take a bath? Just a thought? All right, I'll have to figure out why this place is so laggy. Okay, I think I got it. All right, a little, few little tweaks. It's a little better. It's still kind of, I think the fog is. Ooh, um, how do we put this away? Ah. Uh. Holster unholster is B. B is holster unholster. Okay, good. I had to I had to find out. Bruce finished them off too quick. Could have stretched it out over two more rounds at least. What for? You already know. Okay. Hey, yo, B. What? How about a round or two? What? What do you say? Oh boy. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Yeah? Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Alright, man. I mean, where'd you get him in the first place? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, <laughs> fed him, clothed him. Listen to him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a chum of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Just a guy. How's it going, training bot? Yeah. How's it going? It Fight's about to Don't start. Worry. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. All right. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. I think I'm about to get beat up. Ugh. He doesn't mess around, does he? Oh, oh man. He don't mess around. Guess I'm not gonna be able to either. Oh, we off the ring. He's 
tough, dude. He almost. <laughs> I just started wailing on him. Where? He definitely had me. Yeah, I heard. You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. Well, there's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Let's see. All right, man. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instincts. Fights happen in different yeah, parts of the city. Yeah, okay, you done. choose where you want to go. Put Don't down your worry. eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or Watson. Not yet. You can start Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Dang, all right. What do we got here? I just want Dr. Havoc and Radon. Introduction. The battery sphere is in dire straits. The Iranians? I in Iranians, I think, uh, have occupied almost half of the city. Them and their Techno rat scourge have transformed almost everything into hordes of mindless zombies. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders from Planet X. It seems the end is inevitable. That is, until the legendary mercenary pair arrives just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence. Amidst the cigar smoke and a glint of chrome armor, Dr. Havoc and Radon slaughter scores of enemies without mercy after all. Who could possibly slow the mighty force of laser-armed mountain of muscle and his spitfire of a sidekick who can transform into a sentient cloud of radioactive gas? Wow, I tell you, no one so far. Rose Tenerio and Martona, Martoni Elazar... Uh, take us into the world of computer games first imagined in the best-selling novel Kibble and Scoop. Is it? Okay. By Abe Frost. Uh, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster ride of comic book violence. If you ever wondered, if you ever wondered what the action of a battery arena might have looked like to Doctor Havoc and Radon, is a must-buy. Dive in now. Okay. Cool. See you, buddy. What we got going on here? Oh, they look kind of dead. Hey, kids, doing in here? Get a nice burger. All right, all right. Cool. What we got here? A gun vendor? What? First after every shot now. Really? All right. Let's have a look. Oh, cool. And he's a vendor. Awesome. Wow. He's already selling epic items. What do we got here? Is this dying night? This, it says zero. This is my gun he was just talking about. I see. Wow. Look at that. You can mod the crap out of that thing. Unity. It's legendary. I can't afford it and I can't use it. No, I just can't afford it. I see. So, most of those I can't afford. Good, good. Pulverize. Increased damage to limbs. Nice mod. Uh, Gimlet Eye? 
And, ooh, there's a suppressor. I want that. All right, now, can I sell anything? How do I sell? Oh, sell junk. 30 bucks. Hey, all right. Um, and I have some food and drink. Oh, yeah, we got Witcher gear for uh, owning the Witcher when you download the game. Pretty sweet. And uh, we got a nice katana. All right, well, uh, I'm going to let it roll like that. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, man. Oh, you know what? I should have sold him that. Uh, All right. Let's see what you I got. I should have sold him this gun. This... What I like to hear. All right. Do I know you? This one right here. Yeah, 23 bucks. Why not? Okay. Now, uh, that's not inventory. Inventory. Let's slap this puppy on there. And we can put a silencer on that. Oh. Sure. I'll try it out. Sweet. Nice. That looks pretty sweet. All right. B. Holster. Whoa, we got some ammo right there. Hey, you don't mind if I borrow that, do you? Shotgun ammo. That's uh, going to come in handy. All right, man. Anybody up here? Hello. Shooting range going on. Max Doc, that's healing powder. No, healing power. Hey, guys. Okay. All right. I, I think Jackie's been waiting for a while now. Who was he telling not to go? Okay. Entrance. Oh, man. This is super cool. Who Who you? Suki. Nope. I, sure, I've annihilated that. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Jackie brought my car back. Okay. We're out. We just not selling stuff. No, well, eating a burger. Ooh, woo. Hello. Uh, okay. These here are police officers. Let's not make them mad again. I did so well at that. Hello. He's just hanging out. Is that kid? Tic tac toeing, crisscross. I don't remember what it's called. All right, man, you're doing great. You got a, a jacket with shorts on. Okay. How about you? Huh? Is this a recycler? Hard to sell. Okay, I could sell my junk, but I just did that. Another cop. Night City Resident. Oh, it tells me who it is. Chief. Jackie, what's up, man? Mm. Man of the that's, hour. That's me. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Okay. Worked up an appetite just waiting. I tend to do that pretty quickly. I'm glad you Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. What you eating, buddy? Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Since sirloin. Okay. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun, man. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. 
Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but t buck she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, is he? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Oh, I'm free now. Man, I I, I kinda I want sushi now. Oh, um Can I not? <laughs> I'm stuck. Jackie? Jackie, I like you, but... Jackie! Jackie, I need out! Let me out, Jackie! Okay, let's try calling the car. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling, or what? Uh, yeah. Let's feel this factory. <laughs> okay, good. Because I was real stuck there. Let's do it, Jackie. I'm going to drive. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I'll do what I can. Whoops. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets that, me. That, that'll know. buff out. Yeah, Jackie. Okay, driving without a controller. Kinda difficult. There we go. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your jackets. And we'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. All right, Jackie, you got it. Where am I going? Woo! Whoa! Did anybody else just see that? That? Hey, man! You doing all right? Look, this dude just fell from. Oh, okay. I'm coming. You didn't see that guy? But you are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes do not belong to you. Or rather, not only 
to you. Oh yeah? Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Yeah, if anyone's watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. That's it. Okay, Gary the Prophet. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses oh by putting our laughter, our tears, oh on full I display! Get next to him. I'll snap still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets. Oh. Open your mind before it is too late! Jessica will, like, die when she sees this. I... Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. Max Nova. Okay. Hello. That guy looks kind of big. All right, Jackie. Sorry. I got sidetracked. Your daddy is... Is to her... Uh, uh, okay. Oh, this place is chill. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Okay. All right, all right. I see the eye. I see the you eye. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Horoscope storyteller group. We got a new job lined up. Oh, he's bragging already. Clients from group storyteller client 1 2077 MB Scorpio. You did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleaned the... Aegean? Aegean stables? Uh, everyone admires you, but you know that you're the only reward. Your only reward will be the next task you're given. And there are not many like you in Night City, but without you, the city would have turned long into the shadows, turned into the shadows and dust. Avoid flirty AIs uh, that try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Oh man, uh, your lucky place, the net. Client number two, 2077, DK Capricorn. Uh, you're a born corpo. You plot, you plan, you calculate, and weave webs so tangled that sometimes you lose yourself in them. If only you were the one calling the shots. You would already have the city at your feet. Unfortunately, uh, you're caught up in the maze of responsibilities. Uh, but whatever you're plotting, make sure you see it through to the end. Avoid last-minute changes to plans, and your lucky place is Arasaka Tower. Imagine that. Um... Client number three, 2077, DB Gemini. You know the city like the back of your hand. At night, you head out to just listen to the pulse of the streets, the juicy chatter, the muffled, muffled screams, and drunken shouts. Just to soak up the atmosphere. You've been everywhere. You've tried everything. You're a free spirit in the night city that makes you a unicorn. Avoid overworking, and your lucky place is the newsroom. Sounds like us. Client number four, 2077, J.S. Taurus. You've done your time waiting in the shadows over of others, and but your patience finally paid off. The applause and flash uh, photography are all yours. The world of the media has opened its doors to you. Television, radio, brain dance, net, and this is just the beginning. Avoid the waves crashing at your feet, and your lucky place is TV studio. All right. Client number 5, 2077, MZ Aries. When everyone was down and out, you came storming back in style. This city loves people like you. And how legends are it's how legends are born. You triumph. Your triumph is bittersweet. You returned, but you wound up on the street. You wound up on the street among the joy toys, con artists, and panhandlers. Uh, you know you've got biz here, but to take care of. But it can't go. It can get tough when it feels like there's no end in sight. Sketchy, uh, avoid sketchy ripper ducks, and your lucky place is Jig Jig Street. Okay, uh, client number six, twenty seventy seven, T M Leo. This city likes to devour players like you, but you know their kind too well to get caught off guard. You're on the guard on the ground. You know that Night City biz only gets done when you put 
your blood, sweat, and tears into it, not just flimsy dreams. You eat dreamers for breakfast. Avoid genetically modified nuts. <laughs> At this point, I think that can mean multiple things. <laughs> Uh, your lucky place is Haywood. Uh, client number 7, 2077, RWO Aries. Uh, you've been in demand. You barely finish one task before someone's lined up to give you another. It often seems you're on your own, but always remember that you have a team you can count on. Avoid emotional policemen and difficult paths. Oh boy. Your lucky place, a bar inspired by the Babylonian culture. Client number 8, 2077, PC Capricorn. Although you've been riding with nomads for years, you're a corpo, corpo at heart. You knew that from the moment you stepped into Konpeki Plaza, you felt at home there. You've had enough of camp life, constantly repairing generators and the sand gritting between your teeth. You've been given, you have given up ages ago. If you weren't so, you would have given up ages ago if you weren't so dang good at it. Avoid. Raff and Shiv. Wow, uh, that's pretty direct. Your lucky place, Compeki Plaza. Note, highly susceptible to the Barnum effect. Client number 9, 2077, KK Virgo. You've been in Night City for only a short time, but you already know what and how. You and the how. You already accomplished the toughest part. You have a good team at your back, and you've just landed small jobs for now. But you know you're hungry for something bigger. Avoid getting attached to friendly talking machines. And your lucky place is the music scene. All right. Man, the lore is doozies. Oh, is it going to be dangerous? Of course it is. Meow. Hello, kitty. Uh, you have a... My dad, he's, uh, Whoa. just over there. That guy? You have a... Oh, boy. She's got a pistol. Oh, here we go. Vicky's Rise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too, V. Been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But. Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. This is gonna hurt, is it? Whoa. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside.
Oh, cool. And now I see. So he's going to give us Kuroshi. Uh, wasn't one of the side effects you couldn't switch out from Kuroshi without uh, possibly going blind? Are you sure you want to buy and equip this? I do. It's free. Well, it's uh, on credit. And I guess you could mod it. It does have a slot for a modification. That's awesome. Okay, now back. All right, hands. Now we have Ballistic Co-Processor. Uh, increases the chance of ricochet shots with power weapons. Directly links to the user's optical implant to the weapon system. Offering a real-time data tracking. That's amazing. Yes, that would be great. And that has no slots for mods. All right, we have Militech Paraline. Uh, we have a base of two RAM with a buffer slot of four. And we have... Oh, we can't afford that. <laughs> uh, that'd be too good. Okay, and then we don't have any mods. He doesn't have any mods either. But that does have two slots. Oh, it's modded. I see. Uh, it's not going to show me what the mods are. Okay. Mark one, like I said. Yeah. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the tops of built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. That's pretty handy. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. Appreciate it, Vic. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right <laughs> here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. That's fair. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Oh, easy, Vic. Lights out for a minute, all, all right. right. Oh. Huh. <laughs> this is awful. Doc? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Doc, did I have to see this part? Uh, oh. Oh. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Nice. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. That's great, Vic. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus? from the last job. Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. 
Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Sweet deal. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made Vic. of. Vic! And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came I from. sure won't, because I owe you a lot of money. Certificate? There's Jackie already. What's taking so long? Move your, uh, butt. <laughs> Dex is waiting on us. All right, all right, man. Well, I guess I'll read that later. I have it in my inventory. All right, is there anything else I need to pick up while I'm in here? There's Vic's computer. No lootables? Aw, kind of bummed. Man, there's gunfights going on all the time. Sounds like it's pretty close. Messages. So I wonder if this is the Victor that we saw this about. Uh, Biotechnica, work with us. Ah, you got a job offer from Abigail Eden uh, from Biotechnica. Uh, dear Victor, my name is Ab Abigail Eden, and I'm a headhunter for Biotechnica. I was wondering if maybe you'd consider joining the world's most socially conscious, environmentally friendly corporate family. I don't think those work together. We offer full access to the state-of-the-art technology, security. You won't have to relocate from Watson and an attractive career path. Uh, let me know. It's worth it. You're screwed. We read this one. Late. Running late. Sorry, hugs. Misty. Oh. Dang it. Um. See. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. The way they did that. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't Whoops. you? Ah. Uh, How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. <laughs> yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easy from there. All right. Cool. Thanks, Vic. We better get to Daggy before he falls apart without us. There you are, little kitty, missing all its fur. Is there anything in here? Oh wow, we have like roof access? Um, okay, that just happened. I better not go up there. I'll probably get in trubs. You alright, man? Okay. Hello. Whoa. Alright, I'll back up. Ah, did you see her face? Oh, cool. I could go through here. Uh, I think we need to go this way, though. Mm, your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were Misty in with the was doc. still talking. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Hmm. How you doing, Misty? 
How's biz, Whoa. Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Yeah, I was reading that. Okay, thanks, Misty. The world as will and idea. But besides all this, death is the great opportunity no longer to be I. To him who uses it during life, the will of man is without freedom. His actions take place and the ne with necessity upon the basis of his unalterable character and the chain of motives. But everyone remembers much that he has done and on account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way on account of the unalterable nature of his character. According to accordingly, he must cease to be what is what he is in order to be able to arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses these bonds and will go will again become becomes free the freedom lies in the s s s a s uh not in the operary up operary arthur all right cool whatever you say man all right hello it's regina v listen I've got this delicate matter. Okay. That's why I called you. I don't have to talk about it. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. All right. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yeah, clear. I don't know if that's the word for it. All right, let's go. Hey, they cleaned that guy up. More gunfights. Ooh! Just gonna stay away from that. Here we go. Suicide doors. All right. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well... They see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> of 
corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Mm. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Mmm, yum. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life? Or blaze of glory. Hmm? Later now. I think I'm a little of both. Hey, we leveled up. Hey, Jackie. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> she on. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Of course. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. What 
Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? I think so. Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Slip around. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Right. I bumped that up. Spunked it up. Excuse me, pardon me. Alright, I thought I would be getting across the bridge, but, um,. I think I've only gotten lost. So, uh. Maybe this way? There's enough for everyone. All brand new, fresh off the assembly line. Locked right yesterday's convoy. Mr. V, I just want to remind you again that the Eddies are already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partner in biz around sum of 10 grand, to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let me try. Don't let them try to shake it down, as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Oh, I didn't realize I could answer. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have. Woof. Load, please. It's struggling. I have the uh, deep learning DLSS on, and I think that might be having an effect. Uh, let's see. The gift. Retrieve the ping quick hack. That's what I was trying to do. So let's do that one. How do I select it as the main mission? I think I have it selected now. Track objective. Oh, I didn't click the right thing for that. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's telling me to go all the way around. Hmm. Or... I can just die! Ah, I didn't die! <laughs> uh, hey, everybody! We're good, we're good. I, uh... Totally meant to do that. Okay. This is what I was thinking was stairs right here. Oh, crap. How do we get up there? Is there a stairwell? Uh, let's try this. Am I going to get in trouble for this? Nice. Okay. Sweet. Hey, our first loot. Light spirit animal. Wow, that was loaded. Wow. Those are smoking fries? Huh. What is this? Loaded? What is this? F connect. Oh, it's a mini game. So data mine extracts a large amount of your dollars components. So we need 55, 1C and E9. 55, 1C, E9. Oh, that's pretty easy. And the timer starts as soon as we, what? Oh crap. I see. Wow, that was good. Good deal there. Okay, cool. We will have to keep our eyes out for those. And uh, anything here? Local network. Wow. I could turn off the... Um, or I could do remote takeover. Files. What is this? Guest list. Mailing. Uh, what is this about? Uh, I think I'm ahead of the game here. Oops. All right. We'll come back. I'm probably... 
doing something out of order. But uh, I got some sweet looties. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, hey. You guys are doing great. I don't know why I called my car. All right, let's see if I can find my way up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um. Whoa. You're half man, half mega block. Not often I see a ripper invest in a Gannic body like that. Most people don't realize the brain functions better when it's tied to real, not synthetic musculature. Replace even a single hand, and you'll notice a dip in concentration and overall well being. Cyberware is more harm than help. Not great marketing for a ripper doc. Yeah. Nope. But I don't slow biz from chromers like you. Ah, okay. Looking for a change. Come on then. Time to tinker. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like I really don't want to do anything uh cuz I don't have any money. Frontal cortex. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I work with Vic, man. Okay. All right. How do we get to Yoko? Is there a stairwell here? What do we got here? Oh, sweet. Elevator. Uh, floor two? Sweet. We might have found it. Oh, yeah. We totally did. Hello. Lots of goodies. Oh, no. Is it floor three that I need? It's floor three. Okay. Floor three. No music? How hard is it to put music in these things? Oh crap. This doesn't go the right way. What? Alright, I'll go the way it's telling me, but I'm pretty sure it's not telling me how to get up there. What the? Set sail. Yes, it does not tell me how to get up there. Don't even want to find you. It's probably through here, isn't it? Oh man. All I had to do is go up the stairs. Kuroshi Opticals. Hey, that's what we got. Thanks to Doc. Oh. Here we go. This is for T-Bug. Or T-Bug did it for us. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here? Grab some shady running soft? No. Not just any punk. Over the counter? We fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third-gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Hmm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Oh, snap. Okay. So, and she sells other ones. Uh, let's see here. So, reveals enemies and devices connected. Oh, ping. Nice. And Sonic Shock. Synapse Burnout. Is this a mod? Oh, rare quick hack components. So if I wanted to craft, which I'm definitely going to have to start working in. Memory Wipe. Okay, that's nice. Overheat. That seems really nice. Three grand, though. I'm sure I'll find a bunch of this stuff. Okay, and no mods, right? Contagion. Okay, so any mods? No, I see. All right, cool. Uh, Thanks. So, let's install that. 
Oh, and we leveled up again. That's right. Uh, okay, so let's do cool again because I want to be sneaky sneak. Uh, yep. And then... Cold blood. Nah. Let's go back to... We could do some crafting. Allows you to craft rare items. Oh, that's pretty nice right off the bat. And gain more components when disassembling. Let's do this one. All right, cool. And inventory. Cyber deck. Let's start there. And, oh, we see, we already had Sonic Shock. Short circuit. Sonic Shock. Reboot optics. I guess we'll hold on to these because I don't know which ones we'll need. Ping. Hmm. We'll swap reboot optics for now. Okay, and then she said I could practice on her access point, right? Where is it? The gift. Oh, sweet. Use your personal link to connect to an access point and hack it. I did. Okay, cool. Right? Oh, I see it. Oh, it's not letting me hack it? Oh, I have to... Wow. Nice. I see. Wow, she's just gonna let me do this? Um... Crap, I did bad. So I need... That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. That's what she wanted. Okay, cool. Nice. Good deal. Look at you guys just net running. Alright, cool. Good deal. Good deal. Well, guys, that is all the time we have in this episode. It doesn't feel like we got too far, but we also took in a lot of information. If you guys like the video, slap that like button. If you want to see the other videos on this series and the other series we have on the channel, we just started Chernobylite as well. Um, hit the subscribe button, the little bell icon, so you know when we come out with new content. And for everything Grey Ghost Plays, hit the links down in the description below for Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And with that... Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Where I definitely won't wreck. Definitely, definitely won't wreck. Good driver here. And I'll figure out what's up with the lag. Holy cow.